So, uh, greetings, everyone, and welcome to um, this show. My name is Inji Musa. I'm a recent graduate of Cambridge University, and I'm very pleased and honored to have with me today Mr. Anthony Haynes, uh, director of Frontinus. And both of us have prepared our top three tips uh, for how to manage emails, and we uh, we would like to share them with you today. So, greetings to you, Mr. Haynes. Thank you, Inji. Pleasure, pleasure to be here. Thank you. Thank you very much, Professor. So, um, shall we start by reverse order? Uh, shall we go with a bronze, please? Okay, my bronze idea. Um, all of us subscribe to emails. You know, when we buy something or join something, we click to to uh, receive mm -hmm. emails, and we get newsletters and special offers and so on. Um, my first tip, therefore, is unsubscribe from all this stuff. Let me explain why they are damaging in terms of managing your time. Obviously, if you break off from something and you spend a minute reading an email, that's a minute of lost time. That's obvious. Mm -hmm. But actually, the damage is much worse than that, because what mm -hmm. the psychological research suggests is that when you go back to the topic you were working on or the task you were working on, it takes time for you to get back up to speed and recover your concentration. So the lost time is far greater than the time spent just reading the email. And I got to a stage where I was, you know, forever getting emails from, say, you know, Great Western Railways, because I once bought a ticket on Great Western mm -hmm. Railways. And then I would I would hope that some special offer might come up. Um, and so for mm -hmm. years, I'd be reading monthly or weekly emails from Great Western Railways in the vain hope a special offer come up. So just unsubscribe. You, probably, you might well have dozens of these things. Just mm -hmm. unsubscribe from them all. That's very, very helpful, Professor. Thank what, you so much for that. And what about you? What's your bronze idea? Uh, so mine was um, is more organizational uh, aspects. So like placing emails into relevant folders. Uh, I find that helpful in two ways. One of them is relating to the time aspect you mentioned. Um, once I leave the email once opened and I leave the, it into my inbox, every time I open my inbox, it's there. Mm. And it takes time looking at it, bringing all the topics that it might have included, etc. So it consumes time indirectly. While when I allocate it into a specific folder, that saves a lot of time for me initially. But also when I want to retract that email once again mm. for a purpose, for one purpose or another, it's much easier to find. Uh, and um, I think that's very, very um, important to me personally. And um, many of my friends and colleagues have also uh, find that as, um, as as helpful and they recommend it. So I would definitely recommend placing emails into relevant folders. Uh, did you have any experience with that yourself? No, I, c I confess, actually, I haven't tried it. And I think I'll look into that because... I know what you mean about every time you open your emails, they're all there in front of you. They attract mm -hmm. your attention, yes. Yeah. Okay, so bronze out of the way. Let's go to the silver then, shall we? Okay. My silver idea is um, use other com communication media. Don't rely on mm. me, uh, email as your sole communication thing. So let me give some reasons for that. Uh, one problem is that emails beget emails so you might think that by sending mm. an email you've dealt with an email but actually yeah. what happens well you, another one comes back and then you reply to that and then another one comes back and it goes on forever um, a second problem is that email often isn't very effective so often you send an email mm. to someone and people just ignore it they don't reply you don't even know they've read it um, and then what do people do when that happens oh they chase them up by sending another email and if mm. that doesn't work they send another email. And at yeah. some point, you have to say to yourself, it's not working very well, this email business, is it? Mm -hmm. So I, I think um, use, uh, you might be in an organization where you can use messaging. That's one alternative. Mm -hmm. I think the telephone, which in when I was young, that's what we did. We phoned each other up all the time. Mm -hmm. These days, people don't do that very much. And so when you actually phone people, it makes a bit of an impact. And also you can hear, you know, in, a, in an email, if someone says to you, um, oh, yes, I, I, I've nearly finished working on that. You've no way of knowing whether they're telling the truth. 
But actually, when they say it on the phone, you can hear their voice and you sort of think, I don't think this person's really done anything yet. <laughs> you, you know, you can, you can yeah. kind of suss, suss out. So I think, um, I also think using snail mail, funnily enough, sometimes sending, uh, you know, a nicely printed letter, mm-hmm. uh, which sits on someone's desk until they've dealt with it, can sometimes be more effective than an email. So just to put all that in a nutshell, my silver idea is, yeah, by all means use email, of course, but use other communication media as well. Excellent. Thank you so much for that. And I echo what you're saying. I had like um, experiences with that, uh, with the telephone especially. Mm -hmm. I think in the academic world is very difficult because um, they do not usually share, like professors do not usually share any contact information except for their emails. Uh, but whenever outside, so we shouldn't, as students, for example, in the academic world, uh, give up to that and take it as a general rule. I think we should definitely find alternative. And I found yes. that very helpful when talking with admins, for example, or yes. in the library. To speak to them directly, you save lots of time into preparing the email that you're going to yes. send and definitely in getting the response. So um, excellent idea. Thank you very much, Professor, for that. Great. Well, so what's your silver idea? Uh, my silver idea is uh, is pretty simple, but I think it's for me has been very efficient, which is first to delete immediately any emails that you don't think need to stay there in your, in your inbox. So you checked an event, you're not going to attend it, or even if you are going to attend it, then just add it to your calendar and it's gone. Don't keep emails into your inbox that you will not need for long term or even for a short term Im- imminently. Yeah. Uh, so I think that's one. And parallel to that, I would say only show unread emails. So I've been trying that technique for some time, and it's very, very effective for me. Again, mm. um, I don't show anything in my inbox except for emails that I have not read yet. Any email that I have read, I make it a point to take a decision whether to delete it or to fold it, yeah. to put it into irrelevant folder or to reply to it. Uh, so that makes, again, looking at my inbox, it's much shorter instead of having 1,000 email, having just eight or two or, uh, or three. Yeah, yes. Uh, so yeah, so that's my silver one. So uh, time for gold. Instantly, I have a slight variation on your silver Please. one, which is the unread emails. I have them showing in red. And okay. that always attracts my attention away from the other emails my my gold idea is uh, use prime time at work for prime mental activity so let me explain what i mean by that um most people are actually at their best near the start of the working day you know they sit at their desk with a cup of coffee and they're mm. they're up for it and yeah. what do they, what do people do with, with this prime opportunity they think oh well, first of all i'll just clear my emails um, so they spend, you know, half an hour or 45 minutes or whatever dealing with their emails. Mm-hmm. Well, um, what happens then? Well, actually, by the time they've dealt with all their emails, they start getting replies to the emails. So then they have to deal with them. You can play that game forever. You can go through a whole day, supposedly just clearing your emails. And then mm-hmm. the big thing that you really wanted to get done, which the thing that's difficult but important and needs your mental energy, you never mm-hmm. get to it. So let's yeah. say, for example, in my job, an important task might be writing a sales proposal to someone. Mm-hmm. And that could make a huge difference to my business. If, it, if it's successful, that could have very big, you know, welcome effects. Of course. Mm-hmm. So I want to get that done. So at the start of the day, when I sit at my desk, I think, right, I'm going to get that sales proposal written. And then if that takes an hour or whatever, fine. Then I send it off. Believe it or not, I'll feel good for the rest of the day. You know, it's like I did it. Then I'm going to worry about boring old emails. But not yeah. until I've done the thing that requires my 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 energy and requires me to be yeah. sort of switched on. Yeah, I completely agree. I think and um, in that respect, and correct me if I'm wrong, but we, using technology in our favor is very important mm. in that respect. Uh, kind of putting your phone on silent, uh, yeah. deleting notifications from emails on your computer, because once you get a notification telling you that a person X have emailed you, even if you decided not to open your inbox, your mind is already in that email, what he has said, what he hasn't yes. said, how has he responded or not. So I think uh, yes. putting uh, your 
telephone or a computer, if you're working on a computer or on do not disturb and closing or um, shutting down the notification is um, complement you yes. focusing and kind of capitalizing on your um, prime time. Absolutely, yes. Well, what about yours then? What's your gold idea? Uh, my golden one is discipline and planned procrastination. Uh, I think that sounds very weird, uh, but um, so basically my idea is that you could divide your emails, any email you get into an email that's important, email that's unimportant. And many of the emails that are important, you either have to respond immediately, it's just yes or no, uh, fine, I will do it. Whatever it is, it, it doesn't require much time or much effort. So I would recommend that you do that immediately, do not postpone it. But some of them may require some processing. Uh, that's if required, for example, taking a decision uh, or submitting an abstract or whatever it is. So what usually happens is that you say, I need, time for, I need time to process that email, so I will keep it aside, which is fine. But then you keep keeping it aside again and again and again. And that doesn't only take out of your attention and of your time because your mind is on that email, but it's also caused stress and agony. Yes. And you keep procrastinating and procrastinating. So my rule is that discipline and plan your procrastination. Say that you got an email, it requires some time, then give yourself 24 hours, 48 hours, just set a deadline for replying to that email. Don't just say that it requires some time and leave it at that. Put a deadline for yourself, stick to that deadline, because otherwise you will keep, it will keep just consuming your mind and your effort yes. and you will not be focusing on any other job that you should be yes. doing at the time. So yes. yeah, so these are mine. Um, any final thoughts on, um, on anything we said? Well, I like, I like those final ideas a lot. I, I, I find the, the phrase attention economy helpful here. You know, mm -hmm. we have scarce resources in terms of our attention we we can't attend to everything mm -hmm. and so we actually have to make decisions about attention to me that's about who's in control of your work actually mm -hmm. if you work on the basis that you have to read every email you're ceding control of your work to someone else if you then say you not only have to read every email but respond to every email you're ceding even more control and if you say you've got to read every email respond to every email and do mm -hmm. it straight away why are you letting all these other people dictate to you how you spend yeah. your time? So it's really about being proactive and disciplined in that respect and just getting, yes. getting control of your inbox and then getting, letting people decide for you. Yes, getting back control, yes. Getting <laughs> That was very, very insightful and helpful. Uh, Mr. Anthony, I'm very grateful for your time today. Thank you very much uh, and uh, we see you next time. Thank you. Oh, I've really enjoyed it. Thank you very much for Thank having me. Thank you. Bye. Bye.